Ladies and good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to take a walk around this 2022 Ram 5500. This one just became available again. Previous customer decided it was a little bit too fancy for his job site. So it's back on the market. So if you guys are interested, please give me a call at the end of this video. Um, in the meantime, guys, let's take a great look at this awesome looking truck. Yes, it is a 2022. 10,707 miles as of this video today, August, oh, sorry, September 2nd, 2022. Uh, this unit came back. We designed this unit. We bought the chassis and we sent it to Utility Body Works where we added all, our, all the features that we needed on this truck. Previous customer bought it. He wanted a more exotic truck, so he traded this one back in to us and it is available as we speak. So some of the things we're going to mention on this unit here is the fact that it has the hauler bed. They did add some stuff to there where it became a full truck. So when it comes to the front and rear sensors with the bed, they added the factory rear sensors on the bed of the truck. But up front here, you could see the front sensors um, located all down here. LED headlights and fog lights creates an awesome look at night. It's not that orangey looking light. It, it does come out super white and bright. Uh, this one does come with the surround view cameras. So right underneath the A for that RAM sign, you have that first camera here. And the quality of the cameras in 2022 model, it is actually pretty awesome. So nice and clear, high HD, super awesome. So we're gonna take a look underneath the hood. Remember guys, uh, this truck does come with the 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine and it also partner with the Asin transmission. This unit will produce about 360 horsepower and about 800 foot pounds of torque. Again, it did come in with 10,000 miles uh, recently serviced but we still brought it to our local Ram dealership here in, in, in Federal, Colorado. Well, that one is located in Longmont. We went through it, make sure we had fresh oil in there, make sure all the filters were good. And of course, everything was in a working condition. Again, this is the 5500, so you have that stamp up here with the heavy duty stamp also. The brand of the engine, which is the Cummins Turbo Diesel. And of course, this one is the limited edition. Right up front here, some of the add-ons we did through the conversion was the front Kill the Man two-stage front airbag suspension. And of course, we had a comment on our last video saying that those tires look bald. They are not, they are brand new tires, only 10,000 miles on them. And what you guys are looking at right now is 225 70R 19.5s. This one does come with the Ram fixed running boards. Keyless entry. Again, with the surround view camera, we got one of the cameras located underneath the tow mirrors. And of case, if you are looking to use those tow mirrors, all you guys gotta do is just flip it open. And once you're done with it, you can flip, flip it back in place. And as we look at in the interior, We got that tan leather with the black two-tone interior, nice and clean. Again, previous customer didn't use it much, took well good care of it, washed it every time he used it. And of course, checking out the design on the, the door, it has that three-tone look. Of course, you do have memory seats, power mirrors, power, power locks, and of course, all the different options here. So if we look directly underneath your parking or above the parking brake, we have this switch here. This one will turn on the, this, the air suspension. And if we wanna dump the bed of the truck, we flip that in place. The back of the air, the back of the truck will go all the way down to be able to back into your trailer. Once you're done, you're gonna flip that switch back to allow all the air to go back into that trailer. Oh, to the back of the bed, sorry. 
And as we take a look in the back seat, the back seat is heated. So the outer seats are heated. You do have tons of charging uh, areas over there and tons of storage underneath the seats as well. So as we take a closer look in the center, you guys will have two USB ports, a 110 plug-in right underneath that. This one does come with the full Herman sound system, so nice quality sound. Yes, we got a question. How much is the truck? So we do have a link below this uh, video. So if you want to click on that link, it will take you directly to our website. Price will be on there. So if you guys don't mind clicking on that link and you'll see the prices underneath that link. So I cannot uh, relay that price on this video due to you know circumstances so that's why we put this link underneath this video so if you just want to click that video uh, that link you will see pictures and prices and if you guys are interested to make a deal call me right after this video and we will talk more on price all right so with this bed we have dual tanks on here we got a 52 gallon and a 22 gallon so you have a total of uh, 74 gallons in in total and of course our death fluid is located in the same area right now this death fluid is filled up on purchase we'll fill up both tanks for you so you will have full 72 gallons of diesel live in our lot whenever you guys decide and one good thing about those lock um, those covers they are lockable so you can protect your diesel in there so once you're done filling up lock it up and don't worry about it when it comes to storage, we got tons of storage on this unit. We got a pass-through box as well, which you have access on the top end. So tons of storage here. You have your gauge for your airbag hitch. But as we continue, we got access to that pass-through storage up here. We got more storage up here. And more storage in here. So you'll get that same amount of storage on both sides of the truck. And again, with this, once you close this up, we do have access to a, a key here or a lock. You could lock all your personal items in those storage boxes. And all those boxes are lockable. So you have seven access points in total, three on each side and one in the center. Majority of those boxes have lights in there. Again, we do have a utility light in the bed of the truck, so when you are hooking up to your trailer, you can turn that light on and it will give you access working at night. It does come with the Hensley trailer saver hitch and this one does come with the three airbag system. So you got two airbags in the back end and one airbag in the center. Some of those Hensley trailer savers come with the option of only two airbags, which is the two up front and then the additional airbag sold separately. When it comes to the spare tire, we have that spare tire mounted on the bed of the truck. Yes, it might seem like it's in the way. If you were good enough, the previous owner never took this off when he was backing into his trailer because with the airbag system, you could actually raise the uh, trailer, save a hitch higher than the spare tire. You back into there, you hook up and you're good. But if in case, you're a little bit nervous when it comes to that. You could actually take this off and store it in your trailer, on your camper, whatever the case may be, and just know you have a spare tire on hand. Some people might be wondering, having this spare tire on there, somebody could steal it. You could actually remove this pin and actually put a, a, a lock on there, you know, and lock it in place. So whenever you need it, you just use your key, unlock it and use it. It does have tie down tracks. So we got uh, one on each corner, so we got four in total. You do have access to your trailer plugins up here. We do have a bumper hitch behind this plate with a seven pin hookup and a four pin hookup. You do have a backup camera down here for your trailer. You also have a camera up here for access to view the bed of your truck when you're backing into those trailers. 
This one also has a camera for your rear view mirror. And once you go, once we go inside, I'll show you guys that feature, but it is actually a nice little add-on with the newer trucks and the higher trim levels on those vehicles. So let's jump inside. We've seen outside. Again, I didn't mention we do have dual tires on this truck. So uh, for, this for those people that actually look for extra bed, um, this is well made, well tucked in. Uh, so you do have dual tires in the back. Also, you have that Kilderman four link air suspension with a air dryer system on there as well. So let's jump inside. I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat today. One of the cool things about this truck, it is a push to start. So put your foot on the brake, press the start button. It will automatically start up. Like I said, it is a 2022. So a lot of things kind of look similar to the 21s and 2020s, but um, a few things that are different. Um, you do have the wireless Apple Play, so I don't have to connect my phone with a wire into the system. I can do it wirelessly right now. Um, I think I have my phone set up, or do I? We'll see in a minute. Um, but you do have the wireless Apple Play on this one. Uh, also, it does come with um, Alexa on there, so you could actually purchase Alexa if you do have internet on your phone or on the Uconnect device with the system that comes with this particular truck. You could use Alexa, tell Alexa to play music, you know, stop, get directions, all that different stuff. Alexa is capable on this one. This one does have lane departure warning. It does have blind spot monitor. This one does have a great sound system. And when it comes to your large screen up here, you have the option for Bluetooth. It have the options of uh, satellite radio, FM and AM radio. This one does come equipped with navigation already installed, so you don't have to use your phone for navigation, but a lot of people have different apps that they really like. Again, to connect your phone, very easy. Add a device, go into your menu, you will see that device show up. When it comes to the App Store, again, you have different options here. This one does come with Android and Apple capability. And of course, when it comes to the vehicle options, you have tons of different views here. When it comes to off-roading, um, there's ways of checking your, your vehicle dynamics, accessory gauges, and of course, um, your levels while driving. Down here, you got a few options. You got six auxiliary switches. Again, for you not to add aftermarket switches on your vehicle, you do have the option of six auxiliary switches. So a light bar, put it in the bed of the truck or in the front grill or whatever the case may be, you know, auxiliary tank, all those might need electric. You just uh, plug and play, run it through the engine near the battery. You have different options to plug in to one of those auxiliary switches. This is four by four, so you have your four by four options down here. Trailer brake system down here. Charging, we got a few options. USB, wireless charging, and a 110 plug-in down here. Tons of storage, cup holder, close, more storage down here with a closed drawer as well. In here, we got storage down here and another storage compartment in here with a USB plug-in. Storage here, <laughs> storage down here. So we got tons of storage in this unit. And again, I did mention about this review camera down here, typically this will actually raise the, on a regular truck, this will raise the, the mirror and tilt it back down. But with this switch right here, will actually give you that camera view um, when it comes to uh, the, your backup or your rear view on this truck. So when I put it back in place, you got your regular mirror. So let's look at the backup camera on this truck. I'm gonna put this in reverse. Right now you see that view. Uh, if you wanna see the front view, actually you can switch from here to get a better view. Um, so this is the right, the left mirror view. 
This is the right mirror view. This is the rear cam. So that's where you're backing up into your trailer. You got your cargo camera where you could see exactly how you're backing into that trailer. Um, and of course you do have the option of an auxiliary um, camera. And of course a trailer view. It will actually show you the view with the trailer on your truck and what's on either side. And of course you do have that surround view as well. All right, going back to home. Like I said, we'll take a look up here. This unit only has 10,707 miles. So you have your RPM view right here. You got your depth fluid uh, view. So right now it's on 100%. Over here, you got your, um, your diesel. Right now it's uh, just a little below quarter tank. But once we filled it up, it will go all the way to full. So speedometer, you have so many different options here. On the steering wheel, this one does come with adaptive cruise control. Behind the steering wheel here, you got your volume controls on your right hand, and on your left hand, you got your track uh, switch. Universal garage controls, the only thing this truck doesn't have is a sunroof, but a lot of people don't really fancy a sunroof, but you do have that rear window for additional you know, air coming into the vehicle. So if you guys are interested, this unit is available. Like I said, it was on sale pending, but right now it's available. My name is Marlon Bledman. You could contact me at 303-684-3412, or you could call or text me on my cell at 661-755-4344. Or you guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in today. This truck is an amazing truck right now. The used market is pretty, pretty up there. So the price we have on this unit, I think it's a very fair price. Cons you know, looking at the market and what's out there and with the condition of this unit being almost new, still has tons of warranty on there. I mean, it's only three months, three or four months on the warranty so far. That's as pass. So you still have tons of warranty left. So give me a call today if you guys are interested. And again, it is Friday, so have yourself a great weekend. It is a Labor Day weekend. We are closed on Monday, so we'll be back with videos on Tuesday. So look forward to some amazing units coming here from Transwest, Heron Frederick. And in the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in.